Hakeem Mastur was probably the most hyped up wonder kid of all time. To start it all off, Mastur played in a youth tournament for Inter Milan where he scored 5 goals and even scored a goal in the final against Roma's youth team. With this successful performance, top European clubs were after his signature despite his young age. There were several approaches from clubs like Juventus, FC Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester City, etc. However, due to the recommendation of former manager Arrigo Sacchi, Mastur ended up joining fallen giants at the time AC Milan at the young young age of 14. The hype kept on building because he was called up to the U16 Italian national team where he impressed everybody and scored a tremendous goal as well. However, the video of his performance was posted on YouTube and it was titled the best 14 year old footballer in the world and it raked in millions of views. With this video, more and more people started to find out about the upcoming superstar Mastur. Now Mastur was becoming more and more of a household name around Milan in the following couple of years and he was continuously impressing in the youth ranks for the club. In early 2014, a video came out by Red Bull where it was a football juggling battle between Hakeem Astor and Neymar Jr. That's right, there was someone going toe to toe with Neymar when it came to footballing ability. Both of their play styles and dribbling were alike, so it was smart of Red Bull to capitalize on this and make a YouTube video out of it. And it worked because now it has over 10 million views. This video only built into the hype of Hakeem Astor, who was the upcoming winner kid, while Neymar was becoming more established in the scene. Now, even after this video, Mastur continued to impress at the youth ranks. That's when AC Milan manager at the time Clarence Seedorf called him up to the senior team as Mastur sat on the bench for the final Serie A game of the 2013-14 season where AC Milan beat Sassuolo 2-1. These were good starting signs for Mastur and his career. He was being noticed by the first team manager and managed to get on the bench for the final game at the young age of 16. The time for Mastur to shine felt like it was coming. However, the next season and what was meant to be his breakout year, Mastur didn't make a single appearance for the first team of AC Milan despite making the bench six times. He still managed to play for the AC Milan U19s where he got a grand total of only one goal in nine games. It definitely wasn't a good club season for Mastur. However, he did finally get to play for his international team despite the poor club form. And no, it was not Italy. Instead, he opted to play for his other country, Morocco, and immediately he was sworn by cameras in his debut. And then in the 89th minute, Hakim Mastur came off the bench in a competitive game against Libya. This meant that Mastur was cap tied to Morocco now and couldn't go back to the Italian national team even if he wanted to. In the tiny time he had on the pitch, he showed a little bit of his flair to the Moroccan fans. It was to show them that he can't wait to deliver more to Morocco and show them what he was capable of. Sadly, that was the only time he's ever suited up for the Moroccan national team. He never suited up for Morocco again. And this was the start of Mastur's downfall. Now, for the following 2015-16 season, Mastur was loaned out to Malaga in La Liga due to the exclusive request of Malaga club owner Abdullah Aldani. The first time he was included in the match day squad for Malaga was in a home fixture against Real Betis. He then made his club debut playing a total of 5 minutes as a substitute. Now, you might be thinking, this was the start of things to come for Mastur at Malaga, right? Well, no, because that was the only time Mastur even got on the pitch for Malaga and he didn't even make another matchday squad for the club since. And even though the loan deal was two years, Malaga successfully terminated the loan deal in the following summer and Mastur was forced to return to Milan. Now, for the 2016-17 season, Mastur joined the Dutch club Pek Zwolle on a season-long loan. The Dutch league is a great league for young players to develop in and maybe this could have given Mastur the start he needed in his career. However, Mastur didn't shine at his club at all. He only played six times for the senior team with five of those appearances in the Eredivisie and only one other appearance in the domestic cup called KNVB Becker. The rest of his appearances for Zwolle came for the U21s where he did manage to score one goal and get one assist. So maybe this did show signs of promise. But it wasn't enough for Zwolle so he returned to AC Milan after the loan spell in the Netherlands was over. Now the 2017-18 season was one to forget for Hakim Astor even though it was his last season at his boyhood club AC Milan. He managed to make a grand total of two appearances and that was for the U19s not the main team. Literally nothing significant happened to Mastur in this season. Now for the 2018-19 season, Hakim Mastur signed to Greek Super League club Lamia on a free transfer earning 200,000 euros per year. Now his time at Lamia started off decent, I guess. I mean, he was getting some minutes and was in the squad for most of the games in the first three months of his contract. He even managed to get an assist too, which is good. However, for the rest of his time at Lamia, he was suspended. Well, why? Well, he was actually reported absent in December and didn't show up to any trainings, meetings, etc. His father said in February that it was because of a thigh injury and his club wasn't treating him for it. Now with a bunch of disagreements going on, Lamias and Mastur both agreed that they should part ways and that's when in March 2019, the contract was terminated by mutual consent. This was the first time in a long time that Mastur had a long-term agreement with the club that wasn't AC Milan. And he ended up getting that contract terminated within six months. Unbelievable. Now for the 2019-20 season, he signed with Serie C side Regina on a three-year deal. And around three months later, he made his debut for the club as an 81st minute substitute in a 2-1 home loss. Did he play more after that? Nope. 
Nope. That was his only appearance that season. Just those eight minutes. Now the 2020-21 season started off better for Hakeem Astor. Regina, his club, got promoted into the Serie B. And now he was playing more minutes for his team. He was either consistently being on the pitch or on the bench. Now he didn't get any goals or assists and maybe that's because the level of Serie B was too high for Astor. That's why in January 2021, which is halfway through the season, he was loaned out to Carpi in Serie C. He was playing a lot for Carpi and he was even starting for them, which was rare for Astor because he hasn't started a game in like years. And also, guess what? Hakeem Mastur finally got his first professional goal. His first goal came against San Benedese. Wow, that's a long name and I'm not gonna lie, I definitely butchered that. But that's right, despite Mastur being simply the most hyped up youngster ever, he got his first professional goal in 2021 in the Serie C. That's met. Anyways, due to a serious biceps femoris muscle injury, he was out for the rest of the season and didn't play for Carpi again. Now for the 2021-22 season, maybe Mastur could build off these somewhat decent performances in the season prior. Well, that's what we all thought. However, his contract with Regina expired in the summer of 2021 and he was clubless for the entire 2021-22 season. Yep, the season was null and void for Mastur. Honestly, before doing some research, I thought his career ended right here and he had an early retirement maybe. But no, that wasn't the case. There might have been hope at last. That's because in June 2022, he signed for Renaissance Zamamra. It's a cool name, but I've never heard of this club. Where is it? Well, it's a club which plays in the second division in Morocco. Yeah, that's where his career is at at the young age of 24 still. Crazy how Hakeem Mastur went from being one of the most hyped up youngsters in the world, signing with AC Milan at 14 years old, being in a video with Neymar, etc., to then playing for a second division side in Morocco. Guys, I can't even look at Mastur's stats at Renaissance Zamamra. Because on transfer market, they don't record stats for leagues that low level. I can't believe it. I remember when he had 88 potential in FIFA 15 and I used to play him in career mode and took him straight to the top. Now you can't even play him in FIFA because he isn't even in a licensed league. It's just so sad to see his downfall. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about the downfall of Hakeem Astor. And also let me know what player you want me to talk about next. Real quick though, remember to subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this to come. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop another video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!